Hey everyone, it's your boy Jay Lewis, aka Tech Boner, and today we're going to take a look at the unboxing and my first impressions of the Galaxy S20 Plus. But before we get started, I'll ask you to do me a favor, support the channel, hit that bell icon, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more videos. So here we go. Tech Boner! About tech. So at first glance, we have the black classic Samsung box with all black glossy text, which in my opinion gives it a nice look. This is the Galaxy S20 Plus. We have the blacked out color, 128 gigabytes of storage. So let's see what we have in the box. First up, we're greeted with the phone, but let's put that aside for now. Next, we have a separate box inside containing the warranties, instructions, and the SIM ejection tool. No case? Okay. It would have been nice if Samsung would have added a case. Next up, we have the USB-C, the USB-C cable. It's nice, but it's not that braided material that I like. Next up, we have the AKG wired earbuds. I really love these earbuds. They're very premium. It has that braided material I mentioned. I like it. And of course they're USB-C because there's no headphone jack. Next up, we have a black charging brick. This charging brick is a 25 watt charger. As for Samsung, I believe you get a full charge in about an hour from empty. Oh yeah, as a side note, Samsung shipped the data transfer tool separately, acting like you're getting something for free when I ordered the phone. Now the Galaxy S20 Plus is a glass sandwich design. It has Gorilla Glass 6 on the front and on the back. On the right side of the phone, we have the power and the volume rocker. Samsung moved both buttons from the left to the right side of the device. I just wish they would have added some texture to the power button so you could distinguish the power button from the volume rocker. On the left side of the phone, it's pretty clean. There's nothing on that side. Let's get this film off so we can get a better look at the phone. Let's see what we have on the bottom. On the bottom, we have a USB-C port, a speaker grill, and a noise-canceling speaker at the bottom. It looks really nice. Everything looks symmetric. I really like the way the bottom looks. On the top, we have another noise-canceling speaker, the SIM slot slash SD card slot. Now, on the back of the S20 Plus is where things get interesting. There's a large camera module that has a pretty decent sized camera hump. I don't have a problem with it. It doesn't stick out too much. The module houses three cameras. There's a 12 megapixel lens, a 64 megapixel telephoto lens, and another 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. There's also a depth of field sensor for those blurred effects that everyone loves so much. The display is a 6.7 inch infinity old display with quad HD. There's an under display fingerprint reader, which I'll talk about a little later. So let's get this baby powered on and see what we're working with. And while we wait until the boot up, we're gonna just run through the specs really quickly. The phone is rocking top of the line specs. We have a Snapdragon 865 processor with 12 gigabytes of RAM. The phone has a 4,500 milliamp battery. Fast charging, wireless charging, IP68 water resistance, all the bells and whistles you can expect from a Samsung flagship device that costs over a thousand bucks. Okay, now we're here at the setup screen. I'm gonna make this as painless and as quick as possible. I'm gonna fly through the Wi-Fi setup and the account setup, and I'm gonna cut away and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. So what I wanted to do is set up the fingerprint sensor on camera and I'm going to make this as quick as possible. I'm going to choose a pattern. I'm going to set a pattern in really quickly. Got to repeat the pattern again. Again, boom, really quickly. And I'll, uh, you know the Samsung S20 has the same ultrasonic fingerprint sensor as the Note 10 Plus had. So we're going to set this up. A couple of placements really quickly. As you can see, um, the setup is really quick. You first have to set up the middle part of your finger, I believe with a couple of more taps, 
will probably be done setting up the, the middle part of your finger. Then you're gonna get this notice to start again, set up the outside of your finger, a couple of more taps, and we're done. That was really painless, that was really fast, and that's why I love about these fingerprints, they're getting better, they're not as fast as the old fingerprint sensors, but they're getting the job done right now. Just give me one minute. Okay, we're all done with that. And here we go. So the next thing I wanna do, I wanna go to settings and go to display. Change it to dark mode, cause I like the dark mode. I like the vivid on the screen. Another thing about this, it has 120 Hertz refresh rate. So I'm gonna go down to, as if, Okay, so let's see. Here we go. So I'm gonna change this to 120 Hertz. Now I'm really liking this. If I turn it to the side, we're gonna look at the phone one more time. We have a small camera bump is not too bad. We have some Samsung branding. And I guess that's a new feature. It's no longer Bixby, so it's welcome to Samsung Daily. I might give that a try later, but I don't know, let's see. Another thing I wanna do, I wanna do a quick size comparison with my Galaxy Note 10 Plus and also with my OnePlus 7 Pro. Now with the OnePlus 7 Pro, I think it's the very similar size. Actually, the S20 Plus seems a little slimmer but basically it's the same size now the note 10 plus actually same size the note 10 is a little wider but so far i have no complaints i also like we have a curved edges and I like curved edges. I like the way the curved edges look, but you get a lot of accidental touches and so far I think is a little flat and a little curved. On the back we have a full curve. Let's go to the camera really quickly and take a test shot. Okay, let's take a look. And actually that looks really nice. So that's that ultra wide. And that's that zoom. And as you can see here, And let me see what it do about going 30 times. That's really nice. Actually, everything feels really silky smooth. Real fluent. I'm really liking that.
Let me see if there's anything different in the menu. We got software information and it has Android 10 and there's a 2.1 one UI. Let me see if there's any system updates. And now we have an update. I guess I'm gonna have to check back to see what else we get in the update. It appears that it's the March security update. It says a software update can, can include, but is not limited to device stability, new enhanced features, further improvements to performance. So maybe we'll get some of those fixes to the things that people have been complaining about, about the camera focus and things of that nature. But all in all, I really like the feel. It's very thin, but it has a 45 milliamp battery. And it's thinner than the OnePlus 7 Pro. And it's thinner than the Note 10 Plus. But this is it, I'm gonna wrap this up. This was just a quick unboxing to take a look at it. And again, we'll come back with some more features. We'll take some photos later. But right now, I'm really liking this phone. It feels light, lighter than I thought it would feel. The camera hump is not that big. As you can see, it's barely sticking out there. The Ultra has a bigger camera hump, but I didn't think I would, it would be that much of a difference in the camera besides the 1x zoom and I don't really think a 1x zoom is necessary but really I'm, I like the way it feels I really like the changes that Samsung made putting the power button and the volume button on the right side and as you can see no problems there So I'm gonna wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and have a blessed day.